Henry is not behind me. My trusted companion. My my partner in crime. Ah. Ignore because I have different shades on again, guys. I uh, forgot mine in a different place. Uh, uh, it's been... Do I even need to say it anymore? <laughs> I think it's that I think this is the most common thing with this channel is that I just cannot, for the love of Christ, keep a consistent <laughs> upload schedule. Even though I wanna, I wanna, but then uh, it's just things happen. I even I brought all the material along with me for the summer, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna work on this, and I'm gonna uh, record some more while I'm gone. Didn't do any of that shit. But if you guys were wondering, I had a very nice summer. I gotta say, I got, had a very nice summer. A, a friend of Australia came to visit. Um, I went to the mountains, went to Ibiza, um, got tanned, you know, went out on went out on a boat, you know, a speed like a little a big ass boat uh, out in the ocean, went swimming. Yeah, no, it was it was nice. It was nice. But now we're back. Water. In case people are wondering if I'm just... Because I had that during live streams. People were just came to me like, Are you drinking vodka out of the bar? I'm like, do you think I'm <laughs> that ready to get myself over with in this world? No. It's water. <laughs> Sparkling water. But hey, let's continue with where we left off months ago. With Tanjiro training with the Hashiras, and he just now came back from, uh, he just basically finished the warm-up tutorial, the tutorial stages with Tengen, which bless that guy's heart and his wives. Bless him and his wives. What a lovely uh, group of people. I would have just stayed with them if I could, but now we got talk to, uh, Tokito to worry about because he seems to revert a little bit back to his uh, usual very direct, harsh, strict self, which I did mention last time, it is fair. It is fair because, like, you know, it's a life and death situation. And I wonder if Tanjiro coming in will ease him up a little bit because he does seem to have some sort of more of a friendlier connection to him or if, if he's going to stay the same. So let's let's get started, shall we? Where the subtitle? Where the subtitles at? Uh, there we go. We arrived. We have arrived. You don't say. <laughs> it's not like the building's right in front of me. But I keep mentioning Tanjiro is jacked. <laughs> Ooh, very smooth. Very gentle. I say gentle, but I mean like... Not gentle, but like elegant. That's the word. Because <laughs> he was not gentle at all. That was the opposite of gentle. <laughs> if that was gentle, then every single black child back in the day who got beaten by their parents was like... Would have been not complaining at all. <laughs> they were like, oh, this is... This is kind of nice compared to everything else. <laughs> But no, 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 we, um, yeah. I still cannot believe that this opening, like, broke the rule of having the amount of characters on the opening screen to the, uh, season we had. You know what I mean? Season one, we had one, we had one character. Season two, we had two characters. Season three, we had th three characters. And season four, we have how many? <laughs> Fucking six. No! <laughs> I will not stand for this. <sighs> I'm also, I just now like realized this entire time, uh, Netsuko has, was, is not alongside Tanjiro. This is the first time in the show where they have been separated for a long period of time uh, because they wanted to, not because something forced them to. So that's interesting. That's interesting and worrisome. Very worrisome, because again, back with the head tingling, Muzan might be out there somewhere just planning some bullshit. And I just do not know if I uh, am comfortable with the idea that uh, Nezuko is by herself. She is strong, don't get me wrong, but is she, is she 
To bring his mind to one straight. Is she, uh, I can hold on Musan for a couple seconds strong? <laughs> oh, everybody's just struggling. This is a repetition of what we just had with Tengen. This is harsh. I fucking I can't believe it. I can't believe that the moment Tanjiro comes in, he's like, it's 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 my boy, dude. I've been waiting for you. Where was? It's just like fucking Dylan, Dylan. <laughs> Even Tanjiro scrolls like, what the? You are too loud. <gasps> oh my god! What, what are you doing, your brother? <laughs> Oh, is he gonna see how sharp it is? What a gentle toss. Is he making blades for the Demon Slayers out there? To his swords, okay, he's just like... And he does chip his swords quite often. But it is harsh to deal with this when he just looks like he's not interested in you or dis even disgusted by you at maximum effort. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I mean, yeah, at the end, he is training everybody and... He probably is like frustrated with himself because he's not—he doesn't know how to teach. He knows how to do the fighting. He just doesn't know how to like pass on the fighting. <laughs> he did tone down. He did tone down a lot. I mean, he—he he, we remember in season three, he was like brutally direct with the demons. And even with, him, with uh, Tanjiro before, so he's he's still direct and harsh, but I think everything he has said is pretty valid. He's like, hey, what the fuck are these guys? But he's like saying like, hey, uh, there are no duos, there are no second chances. If somebody collapses in front of you, what the fuck is this? <laughs> 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 Oh, that's, oh, calm the hell! Oh, is that how is that how Muzan is observing the area? If it is Muzan, can I just okay? It's this. It's this. Uh, it's this per, person. Okay, can I just say maybe, just maybe, you can have like fifty to five hundred less eyes roaming around in one spot. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm. I'm, I'm not trying to give you uh, give you any tips as a demon, you know, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job or do your job better because one would be very sassy and the other one would be risking my life. But I'm also saying, you're not being subtle. <laughs> okay, they're still training to see if they can get a mark uh, popping up. Is Tokto going to join them? Yeah, because Tokto did get a mark uh, on himself. Oh, he's smiling to them. Right? Yeah, because they can go full power against each other. Ooh. Let's see if the mark pops up. Look how much he's smiling. Ooh, this is nice. Some friendly sparring with well animation. Oh yeah, yeah, give me some of that. <laughs> okay, you you leave. We don't need you. <laughs> Everybody hates the crow. 
I wonder if Doctor e himself is like, I don't really pay attention to her either. He's got, yeah. I mean, he was the nefarious intent. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's hearing his Hashiro call. He's been like, we go beat the absolute, absolute living shit out of Tanjiro when he comes to us. And he's like, hey, have fun. Good luck with that. <laughs> What? That's... Uh, even Tantra is like, wait a minute, this is... This is a bit much. Tantra, you have to step in. This is... This is... This is pushing it. I understood before, but this... Is scary. Because they know how strong Tokto is. And one mistake, and they actually could get injured. You didn't attack me blindly. That's, that's, that's actually fair. I don't want you to get killed. Yeah, of course not. Like... He has witnessed. He he learned that from season three. He doesn't want anybody to get killed. That's why he's being this harsh because he wants everybody to survive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like I. I'm used to the whole like speeding up day and night cycle thing, but I'm not used to it just, like speeding up for like two seconds and an instant stop. Be like, hey, by the way. <laughs> Tanjiro, can't talk to you. <laughs> I love how he's smiling against Tanjiro, because Tanjiro is a, is a friend of his now, and Tanjiro is one of the stronger people. <laughs> Look at him! He's having a fun time. Tokyo smiling is something that can be very enjoyable to watch. I don't know why. Already? <laughs> Can we go to no? <laughs> the difference, <laughs> the, the fucking difference. <laughs> you will lose. <laughs> Everybody's like, please, <laughs> please, I beg of you, God of Winds. <laughs> he's so cocky, but he's so happily cocky now. That, unlike before, where he was just like arrogant and indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> the win only once. <laughs> now fucking hell. <laughs> Hashiro, we might not be good in sword fighting, but ah, oh, we're gonna beat the shit out of you in paper airplanes. <laughs> you fucking crow, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Even the crow that, didn't, that always gave Tanjiro sass is now like, What the fuck are you doing to my boy's hair paper airplane, huh? You, you wanna fucking go? Everybody's going for it once. Oh, look at that. The Hashira and Tanjiro in the lead and everybody behind giving the, the support. It's another way of seeing the support. But in the same time, like, this is now something that they can connect with each other. Maybe, maybe can, they can learn something out of this from from this experience.
See, now everybody's smiling. That's what you want. That's what you want to see. Your friend and your, uh, your student, your underlings, <laughs> your students having a good time. <laughs> but he's not gonna be any. He's not gonna be any more gentle when talking to them. From the from the looks of it, this episode went by so fast. We only have four minutes left. What what stops Muzan from just walking into where Nesuko is right now? Because from all we can tell. All the Hashiras are split apart. I like how. It, I just love how Tokito has really become like a close friend of his now. That explains it. Okay, nice. Look at that. He's back. No, so that explains why he was. He's, he can do it without worry. It would be wild if this show decides to like go buck wild, like just mayhem, and get rid of all the Hashiras at the end fight. You know what I mean? Because now that Tokito said like, "Hey, let's get rid of him together," who knows how many we will lose? We lost Rango Queen season uh, between season one and two, technically. And Tengen, we almost lost him. I didn't think that we we're gonna lose Tokuto and Mitsuri in season three. I, th there was no like I don't I didn't get the feeling of that. And maybe that's because like it started off with Renkoku's death and Tengen's almost death. That now like with with those two, you kind of like no nah, no there's there's no way they're gonna do that. But to be fair, they also try to focus more on like the potential that Nesiko is going to die. Until she conquered the sun, which is uh, that's uh, such a hardcore sentence. Nesuko conquered the sun. <gasps> yes. <laughs> so who? What's the what's the training here? Is it eating? <laughs> In the meantime, the snake Hashira is somewhere out there like, WHY IS HE GETTING THIS REACTION OUT OF MITSURI? <laughs> He's like... Oh, he doesn't know what they are. He doesn't know what butter and pancakes... Yeah, it makes sense, it's because it's an era where that doesn't usually exist. Tokitoku. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just, you can't have this like heartfelt ending. Like, oh, it makes me glad that I have a similar, I had a similar personality as my older brother. It's like he lives on through me. Talk to, that's so sweet. Next time on, <laughs> on, on Dragon Ball Z, I mean Demon Slayer. <laughs> oh yeah, that was nice. That was nice. That felt, that felt so fast. This, this episode, like, very interesting, because, like, if you look, if I look through it again, not really much happened. I mean, yeah, Tanjiro got to, con like, basically continue the next Hashira really fast, which, I don't know, like, if that just means, like, oh, you mastered everything I wanted to teach you, or if, because I feel like, I mean, at the end, they cannot train every single random person to become a Hashira themselves. And, again, I wonder if, if Zenitsu and Inonosuke passed Tokuto already. I assume they did, because they start ahead of Tanjiro, and we haven't met them yet. We haven't seen them again yet. Which can only make me think that they... That, well, at the end. At the end, I don't even know if they all go through the same... Um, Order as Tanjiro is, I think they do because, like, I believe Tengen did say after Tengen he they, they will join Tokuto's round and then it goes to the next one. I think I'm not sh quite sure if uh, if there's like uh, any like uh, fluidity of which Hashira you can choose. But yeah, 
I'm wondering what Mitsuri is like. Right now, she she seems to be very relaxed. We did not see any like scenes of um of students suffering. I assume it has to do with eating. I assume it has to do with like as a Hashira, you need to, or as a demon slayer, you need a certain amount of like you know nutrients in your body, and you have to eat enough to empower yourself. But at the same time, Mitsuri is a special case because, because she, since she was a child, ate a lot more than everybody else did. She shagging Scooby Doo that from the very beginning. So like, not sure how that's how that's gonna be a training thing. Well, to be fair, a lot of people in our world, when they uh, train to become more ripped or buffer, a lot of times they say you have to eat a lot more than what you are used to or what your body thinks is enough. So like the moment like you eat a certain amount of cal calories, which is like uh, an, on average, like between two to three thousand, um, your body will be happy if you just get that mark, right? But if you want to uh, gain more mass, you actually have to eat a lot more, which a lot of times your body might not, you know, enjoy that. It will, you, you will feel ill, you will feel uh, like very like sluggish, uh, you, you, you're constantly on digesting, but then when you like, you know, when you work out, all that material goes to your, to your, to your muscles, to, to anything that needs to like grow in size. So I wonder if that's going to be with Mitsuri. It's like, hey, you you just got to force yourself to eat more and then train with that. Which, with some, for me, I, I hate um, eating before I do any exercise because it's, uh, mostly with running. Mostly with running. Because um, whenever I eat and then run, I just feel ill afterwards. So I wonder... If they, if there's gonna be a couple of demon slayers, uh, right, right, a couple of the students who will be like, mm, mm, I, I, pause, I can't. <laughs> it's, it's coming up. We'll see, we'll see. Well, guys, I. <coughs>